Filmmaker Alex Fagan assembles 30 elderly Irish folk to discuss their lives, their loves, and their stories. So what's the big deal? Well, the youngest in the group is 100 years old, and all were born before the 1960-16 Easter Uprising and the dawn of the Irish Republic, making them all older than Ireland. No, I didn't ever thought I'd live to be 100. My daughter said, I'm not on the register. God forgot all about me. Well, I think he did. Oh, if you saw all the cards I got. Oh, the Lord save me. Imagine 452. I feel elated to be over 100. Yeah, it's all legs get a bit dodgy say, like when you're walking down. I go all right, but slow. And of course, if you run into me, it's my fault. Even though it's yours, you say that whole bastard shouldn't be on the road. I'm not sure what audience the writer-director Fagan is aiming at with this very charming, funny, and poignant portrait of history, but anybody that's interested in Irish history, heck, anybody that's interested in history, to get the life views of 30 people that are over 100 years old, that was just a brilliant concept to begin with, and it's beautifully executed here really lovely little film. This this has got a whole lot more to it than just the history though. Um, oh, of it's, life. It's just interesting seeing these people. It, it amazed me how many of these people appear to be living independently in their own homes for one thing. Mm -hmm. The vigor, um, the humor. It makes me question who's the old one here, me or them? Um, and, and some, some of the things are incredibly sad. I loved some of the answers about uh, the secret of longevity. One woman says, I never ate a vegetable in my life. A 113-year-old woman jokes that it was her life of prostitution. <laughs> These people are a riot. They are. It reminded me, in some ways, of the documentary Young at Heart about the senior singing troupe, although these people are introduced individually. Yeah. Um, and you have, like, the last guy who alive who met both Michael Collins and uh, Eamon de Valera. You also have the last living witness to Bloody Sunday's mm -hmm. Croke Park Massacre. Mm -hmm. And the film looks really nice. It's all shot with a static camera, but he, he uses some really elegant framing. Um, he did one thing. Well, like the very first shot of the woman smoking her cigarette. I just thought that was a beautifully composed shot. Yeah, and he also shows one of them uh, using a chairlift, and the way he lit it, it looks like they were ascending into heaven. <laughs> I thought this was wonderful. I gave it a B plus. Yeah, I go along with that, too. In his mid-50s, salesman Alan Clay has lost just about everything when he's sent to lead a team to sell software in Scotland.